Good morning, everyone. Trevor Wardlaw here bringing you information on former governor of Texas, Richard Bennett Hubbard. About 90% politician, 10% soldier. Nonetheless, he is one of the primary subjects of my book, Sires and Sons, The Story of Hubbard's Regiment. I hope you enjoyed today's episode of One Thread of Six Flags. Richard Bennett Hubbard, also known as Dick, was born in Walton County, Georgia, on November 1, 1832, to Richard B. Hubbard Sr. and Serena Carter. Upon the family's plantation near Monroe, he developed a firm sense of family and Southern ideals. By all accounts, he was an exceptionally robust child, both mentally and physically. The foundation of his education began with his parents and he received a generous measure of books, Bibles, and benevolence. He matured into a gentleman of large physical stature with an even larger personality. Hubbard attended Mercer University in Georgia and earned a degree in literature in 1851. After Mercer, he attended lectures at the University of Virginia in Charlottesville where he acquainted himself with the ideologies of Thomas Jefferson. Hubbard enrolled at Harvard Law School in Massachusetts for the fall semester of 1852. In 1853, he earned a law degree. Hubbard practiced law in Tyler, Texas, with his partner Benjamin T. Selman. His affable charm complimented Selman's coercive personality. As the years passed and Hubbard toured Texas, he developed a reputation as a sturdy leader with decisive views on politics. By 1861, he served his final months as a member of the 8th Texas Legislature. Hubbard ran unsuccessfully to represent Texas in the Confederate Congress, but his spoiled attempt to offer services to the 5th District allowed him the opportunity to pursue other endeavors. In January of 1862, Colonel Hubbard actively recruited men in East Texas and established the 22nd Texas Infantry also known as Hubbard's Regiment. His regiment served in the battles of Young's Point, Fort Zarussi, Mansfield, Pleasant Hill, and Jenkins Ferry. After the war, Hubbard became the 16th governor of Texas and later served as the United States Minister to Japan. He died on July 12, 1901.